There are four boxes on a shelf, A, B, C and D. The total weight of A and B is three times the total weight of C and D, and we'll return to that fact shortly. The weight of A is two-thirds of the weight of B. The weight of C is 75% of the weight of D. We want to find the ratio weight of A to weight of B to weight of C to weight of D. If we just go with this line here, if we had the ratio just weight of A to weight of B, that tells us that it would be 2 to 3. The next line, the weight of C is 75% of the weight of D. 75%, remember, is 3 quarters. So in the same way as we did above, if we had the weight of C to the weight of D, then that would be 3 to 4. But we can't just do 2 to 3 to 3 to 4 because, of course, we don't know anything from here and here about how A and B relate to C and D. But we do have that just here. We have that A plus B is equal to 3 times C plus D. So let's use this fact again and say that A is 2 thirds B, and then we have plus B, is 3 times. Now, I'd really like, because they're in the middle, to get a relationship between B and C. If C is 75% or 3 quarters of the weight of D, that means that D would be the other way up, 4 thirds of the weight of C. So we've got C plus 4 thirds of C. So 2 thirds plus 1, so remember that's 2 thirds plus 3 thirds, which is 5 thirds. So this is 5 thirds of B would be equal to 3 lots of, so here we've got 1 plus 4 thirds, so that's 3 thirds plus 4 thirds, and so that is 7 thirds of C. So 5 thirds of B would be 3 times 7 thirds is 7, is 7 C's. Multiply both sides by 3, and 5 B's is equal to 21 C's. And that means that the weight of B compared to the weight of C is 21 to 5. Now note that both of these are weights of C. If we made the weight of C 15, then that makes the weight of D, multiplied that by 5 as well, that makes that 20. The weight of B would be 3 times this, which is 63. And this one is also B. To get to 63, we've multiplied by 21. So we have to do the same to this one here. And so that will be 42. So this is the ratio we want of A to B to C to D. And you can go back and check that it fits with all of the information given up here. This is genuinely a tricky question.